Hey guys, it's your girl Corporate Carolyn and it's not a corporate work day. So I wanted to stop by and share an end of the summer tip with you. Um, just got back from church, going to change into some relaxing weekend clothes. And speaking of that, you guys usually see me dressed up when I'm doing these videos, unless I'm doing something with my hair. I'm going to do something with my hair later, but I got to cut up the aloe and demonstrate a new product with you guys that I'll probably do a video on as well. But um, I've shown out a little bit. They just started selling these um, at the grocery store. Um, they only sell them during the fall months. And for some reason, I love these goofy things. I've already had two on top of like my first meal of the day for the intermittent fasting that I do. So needless to say, I've already done a walk um, this morning before church, but I'm going to do a walk with my husband after to try to burn off some of the calories that um, that want to start, you know, trying to accumulate wherever, especially over 40. If you haven't seen some of my videos where I talk about, um, you know, um, staying slim and fit after 40, um, be sure to check those out because I have some insightful tips that can help you um, watch your weight, lose weight, maintain it, keep it off, whatever you want to call it. But um, first off, I'm going to get more comfortable in um, something that I love to wear when I'm not being corporate or going to church. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. In less than five minutes flat, I went from corporate to casual. And the subject of this video is... Um, it revolves around the fact that I get so many compliments when I wear these um, sundresses, um, especially by young women and um, even older women, women that are my age, which is 58. I like to be transparent and um, I just feel so comfortable wearing these. And one of the things I wanted to mention was that um, especially as you're trying to lose weight or, you know, maintain your weight or look the absolute best you can for your particular age, um, it's always good to find clothes that fit your body type. And, you know, because I'm light in the hips and, um, you know, not um, really boobalicious or anything like that, I tend to gravitate towards sundresses. And if you see some of the um, pictures that I posted on my channel, like I was all over New York City and all I would do is just switch to another sundress. And that kind of um, gives some insight into one of my obsessions. Um, it's sundresses. I don't know why that is, but I, um, the secret that I could share with you guys is that um, I will go wherever I am. I will go to a TJ Maxx or to a Marshalls, go to their junior section, and then look in. Um, you have to realize, like say if you are small in women's, um, you need to go to a medium in um, in the juniors department because um, juniors, they don't tend to have back fat and all sorts of little rolls and bumps that um, women you know over 35 over 40 tend to accumulate along the way with life's challenges and so I go there and this is a great time to go um, for the fall as they're wrapping up the season and starting to switch to fall clothes you can find a dress like this for the ladies that um, actually like this style um, if you're a sundress wearing diva um, you can find these for like $16.99, maybe $19.99. And so over time, like as I've gone to places, you know, whether I'm in Texas, Hawaii, um, whether I'm in Florida, New York, even Long Island, um, like uh, I think it's Bridge, Bridgehampton they have um, a TJ Maxx there, as well as a Marshalls. So wherever you are, pop into those stores, do what I do, like maybe a 10 minute or less, and glance in your size um, in the junior section and see what they have to offer because they have like a lot of cool clothes that um, a lot of times if you go into the misses or the women's section, um, not saying that they don't have good clothes, but sometimes they're not as cute, cool, or hip as some of the things that the younger girls are wearing. So I can get a compliment from a girl that's 17, 25, you know, 30, and then they're incredulous, for a word I like to use, um, when I say, you know, I'm not young, I'm just trying to look young. And so this lady at a restaurant last night, she was saying, you know, um, you can't be anything, you know, other than in your 30s or 40s or whatever. And so I'm like, I'm almost 60, you know, because I will be 59 in February. So... 
Um, one of the secrets to my success is finding outfits that work for me that aren't necessarily my age but that don't make me look thirsty. So I'm wearing like a little Ugg espadrille with this, you know, which tends to show off my best asset, um, which are my legs and my husband loves those. So like speaking of this obsession, if you go to TJ Maxx, like I just kept buying them. Like wherever I go, I keep finding them and I keep adding to my collection. A lot of times I talk about um, that I'm adding to my collection. It's true whether it's my shoe collection, whether it's my dress collection. I really like this one. I think this is going on vacation with us in October. Um, I love this one. You guys might have seen me with this when I was showing um, my natural hair where I said that um, definitely natural hair can be elegant. And then, and then, I took this to Hawaii, you know, it felt kind of, you know, islandish. And so then also you have this. So like when I'm ready for a weekend or if I'm going on a vacation, a lot of times I'm just grabbing dresses like these. You think you have to spend a whole lot of money to look really good, but you don't. And the fact that if you find a discount, and you start buying things that are not very expensive, you can buy a whole bunch. I think I've counted at least 14 um, with what's laying on the table. Like this is one of my favorite ones too. Like when I'm hanging out with my sons, like when we travel, people don't assume that these um, 28 and well, almost 28 and almost 30 um, year old young men aren't with their mother. So I wear stuff like this where it's not like blaringly obvious that I'm their mother on a good day somebody thinks I'm a sister and um, on a really good day somebody might think that we're together because when we were at Dallas barbecue and we had them take some pictures um, this guy said oh yeah give her a kiss and he must have said it in a way like a romantic kiss and then my son said this is my mother and so I'm like it's not that you look old it's like I'm not trying to look like a mother so all of these wonderful dresses were $19.99 or less. And so these things are filling your closet. And so what I am doing now is looking through the TJ Maxx's and Marshall's to see if there are any patterns that I've missed. And so now as the summer is winding down, you know, I'll probably get these dry clean because I'm kind of lazy, any ones that I've worn. And then they'll be ready for... Um, They'll be ready for next year. So that's kind of what I do to make sure that um, that I always have stuff handy that makes me feel really good about myself and um, that helps me to feel youthful. And I think that that's another thing that helps me to um, look a little younger than my years. And then other things that might make me feel youthful. One time someone was saying that because I drink apple cider vinegar on a regular basis, that that's explaining um, the ability to look younger. I think that's part of it. But um, I've talked about um, in a video that I did recently um, about looking younger than your age and some of the anti-aging, you know, secrets that um, that I might employ. Um, one of the ones that I didn't think to mention until I was in church today, for some reason I thought of it, um, is the fact that apple cider vinegar with the mother and there are so many doctors that are on YouTube now that talk about it and I just thought about it. It's been 10 years since I've been um, taking this like about I don't know, 15, 30 minutes before meals or whatever. And anytime you see me with this cup, that usually means that I'm drinking apple cider vinegar. And because I've been um, drinking it so long, I put two tablespoons um, in with, this is about 10 ounces of water, and I keep a straw with it. Um, I do that. Um, like some people think you can lose weight. I haven't seen where it's caused me to lose weight, but it definitely does help keep your glucose um, levels stable, you know, so you don't have like sugar spikes and hopefully it makes you less prone to having um, um, diabetes or pre-diabetes um, type conditions and being a person who's almost 60, I'm really concerned about those types of things um, and I think those things will pump the brakes on how young I'm managing to look. So um, I think that that 
could influence um, my ability to um, to look a little younger, but definitely the exercise. If you ladies are not exercising, um, whether you're walking, um, if you don't have like some sort of weights, like I have the five pound version, but this is um, a seven and a half pound that I keep up here that I can do um, some things with as well. But um, you know, strength training, definitely walking. If you have room in your house where you can get a treadmill, that would be great. Um, even if you can't um, do, if you, even if you can't um, get a treadmill in your house or like a, an exercise bike or like a mini stepper, um, you definitely um, could just do some of the exercises that you see on um, YouTube, like HIIT workouts, um, high intensity interval training. Um, Jeanette Jenkins is a person that I used to um, watch and do her workouts. Like I'd pick a different one and do it five days a week. And she does a lot of burpees, push-ups, things like that, um, that are high impact things. But since I had a meniscectomy back in November, I haven't done any high intensity. But just the fact of being active and following some of the tips that you'll see in the videos that I've done where I'm talking about how I'm able to eat what I want, you know, how I'm able to fit into the same clothes year after year, um, definitely check out those videos and it'll give you some insight. But this is probably one that I haven't mentioned as much because I didn't want to promote it as being like a cure-all or an elixir. It's just something that's a part of the full routine that I'm doing. But um, until you get to your, you know, your ideal or your goal weight, um, you know, I'm not promoting that you have to reach some sort of magic number or anything, but you definitely want to find out what's a healthy weight for you with the help of your doctor. And then I'm thinking that apple cider vinegar might be a good addition to that. But as you work towards that, you want to try to um, feel your best as you're working towards that goal. And one of the ways that I do that is wearing clothes that make me feel good about myself, that fit good, that are not too tight, that are not too loose. Um, even if you're not at your goal weight, don't wear just like things that, you know, um, like big t-shirts that, um, that hide what you have. Um, at each size and each stage, you know, wear things that flatter you, that say, hey, I'm, you know, I'm proud of my body. I don't um, promote things like say with the Lizzo, you know, with your A word being out and, you know, and just being half dressed and half naked and where you're looking kind of thirsty. Um, and I'm not saying that she's thirsty, but I'm just saying that some of the stuff isn't appropriate. Um, if she wasn't Lizzo, um, a lot of the things she's wearing, she'd be arrested. So I'm just saying things that look good on you, that make you feel really good about yourself, and that won't get you kicked out of a venue that you might be visiting. I'm um, just appropriate stuff. Like I think, you know, that like if my boobs were like maybe a cup or two bigger, this might not work. But because I'm a B cup, you know, I can get away with this kind of stuff. I can get away with rompers because I have a little booty. I'm in the little booty community. Um, so I can get away with that kind of stuff. And no, and they'll say, oh, look at her with her little rompers. She's so cute. But like, you know, if all of a sudden, you know, I was packing in a major way, um, they'd be like, that's highly inappropriate. That's unfair. It's a double standard. I get it. But we each have to find things that are good for our body types that make us feel good. And because like you want to feel good about yourself, you know, whether you are, you know, 25 pounds within your goal, whether you're 10, whether you're five, you always want to feel good about yourself. But at the end of the day, you want to be working towards your healthiest weight, you know, where you're not taking medicine um, when you're like 45 and 50, um, medicines that you have to stay on for the rest of your life. That's what I'm trying to avoid. You know, praise the Lord. It's, um, you know, it's happened so far um, that I've made it this far without having to do things. And you see me drinking stuff like hibiscus tea and, you know, you don't see me without water at my side for um, for long periods. So definitely take care of yourself. But as you're doing it, find things that make you look um, and feel your, feel your best. And so check out TJ Maxx or Marshalls before the fall is over and see if you can scoop up, even if it's not sundresses, they have other things that'll get you in a more youthful frame of mind and, you know, help you to, um, to look and feel your best at any age. And that's what I do. 
and um, I've had good success and I feel really youthful and I pray that that continues. I mean, I think that's what it's all about. You want to feel healthy, you want to be fit, and you want to feel youthful um, as you're, you know, be bopping around with your kids, with your grandkids, and just, you know, just enjoying life. And that's what I'm trying to promote. So hopefully that helps somebody out there. And um, and if I have anything else to, you know, that I can help you um, with, let me know. Otherwise, um, I'll try to think of some other good content that I can share that will um, uplift and hopefully encourage you to reach your goals. Uh, but until then, have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.